What? What? Let me ask. Excuse me. We're looking for Gail Fleming's dressing room. And you are? We're her mother. Backstage, then down the stairs. We'll be right back. We're just gonna pick up her stuff. Hey, hey, don't eat those. They're props. And you are? I'm Odell. I'm the prop master. Well, they taste terrible. But they look delicious, and that's the point. Just an apple. It hurts, Mama. It hurts worse than anything else I've ever felt. And you went hour to I don't think it's a problem. Can, can I help you? Rely on. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm Sharona, Gail's sister. And I'm her mother. Who are you then? Jenna Ryan. Oh, uh, hello, I, I thought this, this was her dressing room. It is. It was. I'm her understudy. Can I help you? Yeah, we're just here to pick up her stuff. Oh, sure. Oh, I put the right here. Here you go. You couldn't fold them? Look, I know you're Gail's family, but it's very hard for me to be sympathetic. I just came from Hal Duncan's wake. Gail didn't do it. I'm sorry. You're right. She's innocent and to proven guilty. I guess I'm a little nervous. I have a show on Friday. It's my opening night. I want you to know I wanted this part, but I never wanted to get it like this. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, my boss, uh, my associate and I are working with the police. We like to ask you a couple questions. Kind of busy. Um, how about tomorrow, two o'clock? Come by the apartment, 3198 Green Village Road. Fine, we'll be there. Um, uh, Jenna. Yes. Break a leg. Excuse me, what are you doing? Uh, I was just nothing. Hey, hey, don't fiddle with the props. I've got to know where these are, in the dark, by touch, at a moment's notice. I've been juggling props for 44 years. Ask me about the first prop I ever bought. What was the, the first? sword Richard Burton used in Camelot? I had to go to Scotland to get it. Really? Wow. I'm, uh, I'm Adrian Monk, and this is. Sh She's usually right here. This is a terrible week, I bet. Hey, that wasn't my fault. The cops had me under the lights all night long. I told them I put the prop knife on the set. We used two knives in the show a real one, one like this. Hey, what? <laughs> Don't wet yourself. The blade retracts into the handle. Gail must have switched the gag knife for the real one before the show. May I? See? It doesn't feel like a real knife at all, does it? No. She had to know she was holding a real knife. What happened on stage Sunday night, that was no accident. That was a woman scorned. Hell hath no fury, right? And you're sure you put a fake knife on the stage? I swear, I put it there myself half an hour before curtain. And there was nobody else here? Nope. Except Jenna. Jenna Ryan, Gail's understudy. She was checking in. They check in before the show, see if anybody's sick. We're all set. It's killing me that we can't see her. She's not allowed any visitors until after the bail hearing. I can't believe this is happening. There's nothing we can do today. Let's get a manicure. A manicure? Come on, it'll be fun. If we just go home, we're gonna go crazy. There's a salon around the corner, Alberta's. All the ladies in the show go there. What do you say? Uh. Nothing, nothing, no hold on, hold on. No, nothing. Saturday, nothing. Ouch. I don't have an opening for another two weeks. I'm sorry. Not even for a manicure? Don't you have any cancellations? Well, Luna can put you on the waiting list, but uh, why don't you try Scissor Whiz? They'll take anyone. Excuse me, uh, Jenna Ryan, is she a customer? Yes. Gail's understudy. Right. She has an appointment for tomorrow. So? She wants to look good for her debut. Yes, yes. But but look, according to this, she made this appointment two weeks ago. How did she know she'd be on stage? I don't know. Coincidence? Maybe. So what are you saying? I'm saying you might be right. Your sister may have been framed. And I think the understudy could have had something to do with it. It's a jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. 
Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's Jungle Dog.